I didn't define a hot up command yet. I maybe I should do that. How do I um Okay, so the password will be this. It will be Twitch Solves ISL. Um hopefully everyone can read that. Uh create. So anyone who wants to join, feel free to. And then well, once you join, obviously you should not look at the stream. <laughs> Uh Actually, I wanna mm, no, it's fine. We, we can So, um the way this game works is uh Okay, starting the game in three, two, one. So the way this game works is that you have a deck of 50 cards, there's 5 suits, the ranks are 1 through 5, there's 2 copies of, of every card. Um, actually, for the people that are um, playing right now, I'm going to hop onto Piper Pit So in the Discord, so feel free to join. Um, So that way you can at least hear. Yeah, so the way this game works is that, that's all right. You have a deck of 50 cards and there's five suits. Um, yeah, and you can't see everyone's cards except your own. Uh, and you can do three things on your turn. On your turn, you may play a card, or you may discard a card, or you may use up a hint. When you give a hint, you tell someone... Um, yeah, it should be fine to listen to the stream. When you give a hint, you tell someone all the cards, uh, which cards of theirs are of a certain color, and which cards of theirs are of a... or which cards of them are a certain rank. So for example, the first hint given was that Will's Fluent for sure tells answer um, your only one is the card in your fourth slot. Um, when you play a card, you want to increment. So, you know, there's stacks here, and so I will just play... You know, you want to build upwards to five. There's two copies of every card, except there's three ones instead of two, and there's only one five. So it's important that you don't want fives to get discarded. Um, right, so discarding a card gives you a hint back, playing a card doesn't. Uh, giving a hint uses up a hint. These are that's the clue counter here. When the deck runs out, everyone gets one more turn, and the game ends. And your score is the number of cards that are played, roughly. Yeah. So that's actually basically the entire rules. And most of the game is about. Um, yeah. Oh, I, I should say for the people in Discord, um, the stream can hear you as well. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> oh hi. Hey, hello, hello. Yeah, welcome to Twitch Stop Size Hope. <laughs> so most of the game is about setting, uh, agreeing with your team in advance on certain conventions, such that when you give a certain hint, it means a certain thing. And um, yeah, there's a lot of fun in designing a good set of conventions. It's also a lot of fun in like, following the conventions because the game is complex enough that probably um oh, no, what was I trying to say the game is complex enough that you like no matter how good your conventions are you have to make some judgment car calls during the game as well um okay I'm gonna find
Okay, but this is Hanabi. Um, actually, let me see. I'm trying to like play Hanabi and juggle the stream setup at the same time. <laughs> it's a struggle. Okay. Uh, Jesus. Uh, okay, so. That one's that probably purple too then, and then this is <sighs> How to join? Um how long do games take? They, they take a while depending on who you play with, although we're playing with a chess timer here so that the game doesn't go on too long. Um, if you want to join, the, I put the command here, dot exclamation hanob, that will give you both a link to the website as well as uh, um, the conventions that we play with. I should warn that this is not a beginner-friendly game. Like, <laughs> it takes a while before you can um, start doing anything. <laughs> Oh shoot, it's my turn. Uh wait, what? What just happened? Um Okay, so that that was a fix. This this is a purple three. So I have no idea what this one is now. Um and Detriment. Yeah, if you want to join, the first thing you should do is read the document. <laughs> like, run the, run the command and then like read the beginner's guide, which goes over the level 1 conventions that we play. Uh, we're actually playing level 2 conventions, I believe. But, uh... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I think we already made quite a f I think there's some mistakes already made. We'll, we'll talk about it during review. Uh... Mm. You really are, you yeah, this is a cooperative game. What's the difference between levels? Um as the levels yeah, the levels introduce more and more complicated conventions. Like the the hyphenated conventions are so well developed that they have to split it into multiple levels, so yeah, we're on one team. This is really bad. <laughs> this is so bad. Sad. Enjoy next game. I'm not doing due diligence though. Oh shoot. Uh, when was this clued? Oh no, she just knows the card. All right.
Uf. Uh. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. Uh We'll have a lot to discuss during test review. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, okay, so... Oh, I actually, hmm. no, no, that's actually Arjun. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Evan, how long did it take you to write your geo book? Uh, <sighs> it depends on what your definition of write is. I think most of the time was actually just kind of waiting for things to get approved and so on. Uh, so... Yeah, I mean, in a sense, it's better for William65537 to discard because he has three known trash cards. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is so silly. Uh... Um, okay, you know that card though, so I will I will trust you all to do the right things. Would you write Igmo 2nd edition? Uh, well, so first thing is I would fix all the typos, because there's like literally a mistake on every page of the book. On average. Um, no. Actually, that's okay. Um, the other is that... Uh, I think I would restructure the harmonic, the, the projective chapter, a little differently. Um, I would emphasize in complex setting up a lot more. I think I didn't do a good job of that. I kind of just said, here's like a ton of formulas. And, you know, it's like, well, well. Um, I, I think it averages, if you look at the errata, it might not be one every page. It's definitely at least one every like three pages at least. There, there's a lot of errata. Uh, oh, how did they... Alright, there's nothing else worth. Yeah, they're not huge. Er like, there's a lot of things just like the like missing an angle sign. Like, there's a lot of benign errors like that. 
Um, but they still annoy me. I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> What's the point of having a publisher if they're not going to fix these mistakes? <laughs> but yeah, I think the two biggest things I would do differently... Actually, the barrier chapter I would like change a bit, but the complex chapter I would change a lot. I think it's it doesn't emphasize the setting up enough or at all, really. Thank you, MLG Jeff Doug, for the subscription. I appreciate it. Any other topics you consider writing a book about? I'm not sure. Um, it felt like Geo, there was enough content, like enough theory that I needed to talk about that it made sense to make it into a book, but the... Um, what? Why? Oh, actually, no, that's fine. Yeah, Otis excerpts. But see, that book is thin, and it was like all three subjects, right? I just feel like I didn't have enough like meat to fill up a like book-sized thing. Amazing. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, did we miss something? Uh, I, I'm trying to figure out what happened. Well, our efficiency is fine. I'm just mostly worried about pace. Uh, Is this the clue I want to give? No, I think it's better for me to discard this point. Thanks, Dot Calculator, for that share. before I could. I mean, well, now we know that's what you're looking for. Oh, I have the blue five. All right. Uh. Okay, so I want to get green four out because Williams... Okay, got it.
Hey, we didn't lose. <laughs> Amazing. All right, I can read review, I guess. All right, so. Uh huh. Or sorry, what'd you say? Oh, I said nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so, Will, I feel like you should. I clue... so many. <laughs> I feel like this should be a red clue, right? Like, there's no reason to not also yeah. grab the three. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, this, this should just be red, uh, which is fine. And then uh, this is fine. I also this feel like you should. Enough. I I I see, but I don't see why you wouldn't just clue red. Isn't this a self finesse? I mean, it's just like slightly better. Is... But it, apparently, it wasn't clear. Wait, I thought we were not playing with self finesses because that's not level two. Uh, self finesse is level two, so I think. Wait, what? Wait, yeah. Well, I'm just confused. Like, why? Why is it not better to just clue? What's wrong with cluing red? Oh, sorry, I, I see why. So the point is, if you self finesse. Yeah, if you actually, you're, no, uh, Will's right. If you self finesse the red three out this way, it's actually better because then both two and three come out as opposed to two comes out and then three is clued. Yeah. So yeah. Wait, this... I sort of thought it was fake finesse on like. Oh, I see. <laughs> so, so we're not playing with that. Yeah, fake like finesse four. is actually, like bluffs are actually level eight. Like, Samuel just says you should oh, yeah, not okay. do bluffs until like very late. Mixing up my levels. Yeah. Uh, okay, this is fine. This is a little... Focus is on... Well, the problem is the focus is on... Like, the focus is chop, right? Because this card's already clued. So you're focusing this card, which is the three, and someone has to fix it later. So I got kind of confused what was happening there. Oh, was the one already clued? The one was I mean, already just clued. Just the tempo clue, I guess. Well, no, this wasn't but, great. Yeah, this was because the one was already clued. You, sh I think you should have clued. Uh, well, actually, just think you shouldn't have given the clue. Or if you really wanted the two to come out, you should clue the two. But I think the purple is bad because now someone needs to fix the impending misplay. Because I was about to, I thought I was about to play this purple too, but I've, I was about to play this thinking it was purple too. Then unfortunately, someone stops me before that happens. So this is a fixed clue. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, this is a purple three. Something, something was went wrong, and now I don't know what this card is either. Um, this two clue is good. Um, it could technically be a two save, but um, the yellow two. So yeah, the yellow two is actually here. So when Will sees this, um, he knows that actually this is playable, and the other one was probably playable eventually at two, unless it's yellow two, which isn't. All uh, right, so. This is fine, I think. Yeah, I think this is good. Discard. Blue three is fine. Okay, three comes out. Yeah, so this was, uh, I mean, it was indeed focused here. It also gave you three, like, free discards. So <laughs> you're welcome. I was trying to think if there was a way I could finesse out yellow two a few turns ago, like back when we were here. There, there was a chance that we had a chance to get like a very good finesse out. If you clue this the four, four <laughs> it oh fishes gosh. out this one, this two, yeah. this three, and that four. So it's a four for one clue. Um, okay. uh, I had zero clues though. Yeah, unfortunately there were no clues left, so we didn't get to do it. Like, but otherwise that would have been amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you know, that's fine. Three comes out, two comes out. Will has a bunch of trash cards. Dun, da, da. This is this was very funny. I was looking at this. I was like, "Well, <laughs> clue one of them." It's better to clue William, I think, because uh, Serena has the five to play already and the four. Yeah, and then yeah, that, I, clued, I played yep. the wrong card there. It's, well, yeah, that one's fine. Yeah, you should have played this the this one first because it's focused, but it's not. It turned out to be okay. This is good, nice if it uh, prompts out the purple four. This four comes out, that five comes out. So, yeah, this is okay because Serena knows that this one's going to be trash anyways because there's only two left. So, focus is here. That's fine. Um... Oh, they're up. 
I wonder if it would have been better to just clue green here. What? Actually, no, sorry, I'm stupid. This was a finesse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was a finesse. Uh, yeah, I discarded before to let Will do the finesse. Yeah, which is well, good. That, that is good teamwork. Okay, yeah, so we did it. Who's left? Wow. Yeah. I'm gonna go now. Okay, see so ya. Yeah. Thanks for playing. Bye. 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 Alright, so. I'll make another game, same setup. Uh. I thought I could to play it. Alright, we'll see if we can get a third person. Okay, we have a third person. Uh, Twitch chat, was there anyone else who wanted to play? Or... Twitch is lagging behind a lot. Yeah, it's Twitch. Um, yeah, that, that's all right. When will Otis results be out? I would say in like a cup. I'm hoping to have him out in a few days. Oh, it's unclear whether that will actually happen. All right, cool. Let's do it. Oh, rip. I'm sorry, we started. Uh... Okay, uh... So, we're still in the early game, so, you know, keep doing things. The heck? Okay. Uh... Well, that's unfortunate. Oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> serious okay so I have like oh thank god okay uh well actually mm -hmm. I shouldn't be the one to get that clue but okay it's Okay. Oh, they're both.
Do you have a research mentor? Uh, it's probably going to be waiting. bad that that was a mistake yeah sorry that, that, that's actually a mistake how long does the average game last uh for this game, like 20 30 minutes, I think is reasonable. Is this game 40% done? Uh, we've gotten 40% of the points. That doesn't mean we're 40% done. Uh,
I, I have nothing to do. This one's definitely that. Will you travel to MIT this fall? I think so. If repeat once triangle center ortho center is another triangle circum center. Uh so the triangle ortho center is up here. I don't This is right. Okay, cool. Still going on yeah these games are not that fast uh also we're, we're deliberating a lot efficiency these mathematicians you know of. <sighs> Actually, I think about that one actually.
Why can't you just type what everything is? Play quickly. Alright, we're fine. Again. All right. Replay. So I'm sorry for bombing the Bluetooth. Though. I, I I just got confused and thought that was a like playable, but it wasn't. Just wasn't. So that, that was unfortunate. Uh. So it's interesting because here, um, the purple and the Bluetooth, will win for sure actually had them. So I knew this had to be a play clue because there was no unique two to save. Um, and then somehow I got confused and thought the same thing was true here, which it wasn't. And then. Uh, yeah, so purple, this is supposed to prompt out that yellow three, which it does. Oh, yeah, so that's where I mess up. And now things get very scary because, uh, like, Will Win has two very important cards on the chop. You could have prompted out my two, right? If you clued the purple three or something? If I clued the... Mm -hmm. Purple three? Yeah, yeah, and for some, re for some reason I thought it would be better to... Well, I thought this two might have been. Well, actually, I don't know what I was thinking. That was just like wrong. I just... Yeah, 
clearing purple here instead of bombing was definitely correct. Like, even if this had been playable, I, I should have just cleared the purple three there, get that out, and then, you know, give us a bit more time before we have to deal with William, Will Win's hand. So, I, I was amazed that um, Will Win did never play this card. How did you know it wasn't like red two or green two? I just viewed it as a tempo clue. You just viewed it as a tempo clue, okay. Yeah. Well, that's really good for us. Because I'm pretty sure the convention is that it's that you're not supposed to give tempo clues. But I, okay. in this case, I guess because the blue two had just been bombed, it might have made sense. Great. Well, would be a safe clue. Well. Yeah. Well, you're not supposed to save on the chop, but the problem is, like, yeah. <laughs> I think we got very lucky here the, because the convention, I think, would have been to play this card. But. Also, it's my fault for bombing the blue two in the first place. So, yeah, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I just somehow told, convinced myself this was not. Yeah, a mistake. Like if we just clued this thing here, then it would have been really good because, uh, you know, Will discards this red three. Um, you play the two, and then we have enough clues to get your five, and then the two blue cards. So. Uh. I, we, we still survived somehow, but okay, finesse out good. All right, so this is fine. I can tell this one's trash because it's all the ones I got, anyways. You know, clue another five, so we just get a lot of fives this game. Okay, that one was yellow, so it was actually playable. Yep, purple three, purple four. You can see my purple five, so that should tell you those cards. Or. Yeah, this is actually... I think this is correct because you want to save the green 3 and also get it to pull, preferably where you need to play. So I'm actually a little surprised about this clue though. Um, was this just tempo to get me to play the purple 5? Yeah, so we could get an extra clue. I see. Um, I guess that's fine because you don't know you have the blue 3, so... Or the, you have all the playable cards, so I guess that's a reasonable thing to do because you don't know you have anything good. Alright, prayer, forest, shroom. And then after that, you just kind of run. Hey, good game. Hey, this is again. Uh, I'm gonna leave. Alright, let's go. See ya. Thanks for playing. Okay, thanks. Bye, Bye Evan. Bye.